what's up everyone welcome back to another video it's ARS here and today is kind of a sad day kind of a good day today we're gonna be making the Lego finale you can see some Lego things in front of you I prepared this especially for this last ever Lego video yes you heard that right I'm not gonna be making probably probably never any more Lego videos but probably emphasis on probably I might but just in case I don't, I don't want to disappoint you guys, so I made, like, a finale and stuff. So you guys can see, if you guys know what a Game Boy is, it just probably resembles one, or kind of resembles one, if you guys, you know, are technicians or something, like, are geeks with this thing, like, Hassan, he has one. If you guys want to check out his video, go check it out, but he doesn't have this exact one. Um, but anyways, I tried, like, making it and you can see it's okay because like I tried making for I ma I tried going for the, like a speaker right there and game buttons but I didn't have all the red tile pieces so I had to use some different ones and this is the game screen right here you can see but what like there's there are, like a few features these buttons do not move like but what you got what you can actually do is um can open this up which I'm pretty sure the regular Game Boy doesn't have and it, it, I'm pretty sure you guys never noticed but it's like a kind of mechanism here which just opens up here and you can see there's something in there which is actually quite hard to take out uh, you can see it's actually it's you had to like open this at the right angle so let me do it uh, Come on, it's come on out, stupid thing. So I'm just gonna open that up, but it does come out. It just wasn't coming out, and you can see this is basically like a game cartridge right here. But it's not a really good game cartridge. But you know, I just went for random colors. Boom. So let's just put this to the side, um, and bring in the car. Now you can see this is the side of the car right here. Um, it's okay, you know, but there's like a gap right there, which I don't really like, but it's okay. Wait, what the heck? There's a piece right there. It's cracking. I hate when my pieces crack. Come on, focus. It's not focusing, but right there on that white piece right there, uh, it's cracking. Yeah, there. You can see it kind of. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. So we come to the around to the back, and this is the back right here. You guys probably think this is actually empty, but let me just take this uh, whole back thing off. And this is actually a cool piece that just goes on to here, which I actually found. And I decided, well, hey, why not? And you guys know I like the color red, so, you know, I went for red design, but also some white. And you can see this is basically the engine bay, but you can actually take off the wing, which I really like. You can actually take it off in most cars, but anyways, uh, I'm going to lower the camera a little bit. Uh, actually, I can't lower it, so that's sad, but... So, what I'm actually going to do is, um, I'm going to show you some of the cool features that this has. So, what you can actually do is, uh, you come back around to the back here, you see this engine bay, and you can actually flip that open, which is actually pretty cool, and there's actually a real engine in there. Not like a real life engine, but you know what I mean. If you take off the wing, you can actually fold it up all the way, which I don't think is necessary, but hey, you can do that if you want to do it, but yeah. So, when you come to the front, you're like, why does this look so absurd? I don't know if it looks absurd to you, but it looks fine to me, which I'm actually going to explain to you why I'm saying that. But when you take off the windshield here, which is just a regular speed champion, um windshield what you see in here is a gear shifter which is basically like one of those uh handle things and there's also steering wheel instead of like using the original like the lego set ones this is actually a lego creator steering wheel which um i really 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 like it's attached to this thing right there it makes it look like there's actually two seats but they're not actually two seats so what we're gonna do here um Let's put that back on. There's actually a few more features that I want to show you. So, the doors. 
you can see it tabs in right there. So you right there, you want to untab it. Come on. And this opens up. The whole door opens up like that. Cool, right? I tried to make it look like a Lamborghini door, but nah, you know, it didn't work out really well, but who cares? So guys, um, I'm actually going to show you the switchable features. You can actually take this back out and this front, which you can see it's tapped on right here. And if you guys are wondering how this is sloped like this, all you have to do is, um, oh let me just show you. All you have to do, um, is come here, take that off, like there's this piece right here that flips down, flips up. Anyways, let's put that up. Um, put that down. Then you guys want to take that off and take the back off, right? What you can actually do is put this on the back, and it works really, really well as the back. I actually designed it for the back. It works well as the front too. So now you guys are wondering what in the world are we going to do with the front. So um, there's this piece you want to take out. And I have this secondary front. Which was actually the first one. This is a bit, yeah. So the card that I just showed you before was the second 2.0. So yeah. And there you've got that going on and the the old back you can put on too if you guys want that but i just keep this and this looks good too but that mustang so don't don't pay attention to that it's not a mustang <laughs> so yeah they don't it does kind of look like a muscle car though those muscle cars i'm pretty sure muscle cars don't have doors that open up like a lambo speaking of lambo i have no idea what the heck that was but so speaking of Lambos, um, you just want to take, you can actually switch this out too. So you want to take this one that I have, and that's not it. <laughs> You're not going to, that's not it. You, you guys are like, what the heck is that? That's not it. So what you guys want to do, you want to come here, you want to take this out. And I know there's like a lot of customization stuff here, but you're like, what about the fenders? Yes, the fenders are coming in too. So it's basically the exact same thing with this except the light design is different. You can just put that back on. Or if you want the original one that I showed you when I first like showed up this car, like you can see, look, it, it doesn't look exactly like a Lambo, but I tried modeling it after one. It doesn't look that good though. So when you come to the back, you want to take this off. This doesn't look like a Lambo back, but I just like this one here, especially because it says GT. Um, yeah, so that's basically all the modes, but I, this is my favorite. Let me show you my favorite, which it was actually, it was already set in this mode when I first started the video. So you want to take the back and put it on the front like this. And that is my favorite mode because um, it looks really good. So, yeah. That was my really, like, my most favorite mode. And I just wanted to create this LEGO video. So, you know, it would be the last LEGO video I'm probably ever going to make on this channel. But, you know, we never know. I could make one again, but I don't know. I'm really... Um, not ready to debate over that, so we're probably not going to make one, but I'm sorry to all the LEGO fans out there, but hopefully more gaming videos and probably one more LEGO video coming up soon, probably, I have no idea. Um, I've said that a lot throughout this video, and yeah, this car is super easy to build, um, I just used, uh, I just used a mainframe right here. You can see this is the original Speed Champions mainframe. So what you can do right here is um, you can actually just put one of these 2x6, uh, yeah, 2x6 onto them, onto the sides. And then I extended them with 2x4s, so, and then I put uh, this right there. Let me just take this off to show you guys. 
So I, this is actually the whole front. You can see right there. And that just taps on right there. And these wheels are actually custom wheels. They're Speed Champion Golden Wheels with McLaren Senna uh, things on them. Rims on them. Right there. Right there, yeah. So, yeah. Um, if you guys really liked this video, please thumbs up and subscribe because I only have 15 subscribers. And I barely ask you guys to subscribe, so... Please do if you liked today, today's video. If you did not like today's video or any of my videos, just dislike and comment what you think I should improve on. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. And hopefully I will post Gran Turismo Road to Infamy Episode 2 next week. So stay tuned for that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, this effect, effect effectively ends today's video. And see you in the next one.